Hello, oh, I wanted to make a quick video to help you pick your topics. Um, last week we did an exercise that tried to find some things that matter to you. And the idea was for you to see uh, what were the pressing, pressing issues in your life and how can we turn that into a research paper. I'm going to help you take it to the next step using the Edison Library and the databases. And I hope that you are familiar with these databases. But we're going to start over here in the databases. You're going to go to uh, this list right over here. There are two um, databases in particular that will be very, very helpful in selecting topics. One is SIRS Researcher or Social Issues Researcher or SEERS. The other is Opposing Viewpoints. We're going to start off by going to um, SEERS Researcher. And let me get back to the main thing. Um, when you get there, this is what you'll see. You'll have a huge list of topics going from A for abortion all the way through Z to zoos. There's also a top 10 pro con. And you can see right away that this is made to help you find interesting topics. Uh, what happens is when you click on one of these topics, say zoos, how can that be controversial? We can see. Um, we have an information that says add issue tells us what's going on uh, with zoos themselves. Go back, then we see a pro-con. There is opposing viewpoints, yes and no, to whether or not animals should be kept in zoos. And then we have a huge list of articles. You can see that the 174 articles here, various topics, uh, orcas and SeaWorld, things like that. So you get a very good overview and some specific information. This will help you figure out whether or not your topic or your interests are viable and researchable. Um, so we're going to go back to this one and look at some other topics. It does it all the time. So I'm going to go to this. We can see a whole lot of things. So if you have something that is interesting to you or maybe on your list you had things like, okay, well, I'm a student. There are things over here that you can look at. School environment, school discipline. School lunches, newspapers, prayer, safety, schedule, shootings, uniforms, vouchers. So if we go to something like school schedule, um, this is talking about uh, how much time students spend in school. We have our overview. And then as you look further down, there's other things. Virtual days, um, letting kids sleep. The idea is that um, an 8 a.m. class is probably not the best time for teenagers to be going. Uh, so research is out there and now they're trying to pair things up. So is this a controversy that you want to look at? Uh, so there's different articles and you can use this to help you narrow things down. It's a great resource. Think about the things that matter to you. Uh, what was interesting? What is important to you that are on your list? And look at them. Do not pick a topic just because you think you're going to find a lot of information. It's going to be easy. You might find a lot of information, but you're going to be bored. You're going to be with this topic for 10 weeks. So pick something that matters to you, that is interesting to you, that you can actually figure out how you're going to move through all these different processes of explaining the topic, evaluating um, sources, and then having a call to action. And I'm going to create a second part of this lesson to help you understand this a little bit more, the big picture. Um, there are some topics in here that um, I don't think are necessarily the best, and so I will also help you understand those. But moving on, Opposing Viewpoints is our other... Um, here it is. This, this would be the main page. Opposing Viewpoints is the other resource you can use. It's similar to Sears Researcher. Um, I don't necessarily think it's as good. But we have some topics if you want to look at health and medicine, whatever concerns you. Uh, there's a lot of things. So maybe you are interested in medical marijuana. Uh, it gives you an overview, just like Sears does. And it has different viewpoints. These are not matched up as neatly as Sears does. But it gives us an overview, a very, very, very broad overview. So you click on this, you can get some information. Um, very general information. It's not an individual person. It's it's kind of like uh, Wikipedia because it gives you a lot of sources, which is great when you start to research. A lot of sources. Look at the dates, though, because this is all 98, 
2005. Nothing very recent, 2010, 2011, 2012. Those are the most recent ones. So this is old stuff. So you do have to find newer things as well. Uh, so these will help you get started, to find your topics, to help you um, narrow things down and find out whether or not your topic is viable. So I hope this helps.